守りに来たんだこっちは俺に任せておけ Atlas. Yes, sir. More importantly, though. Well, not yet. Not ah. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. Vanilla Ware, creators of Odin Sphere, creators of Dragon's Crown, creators of Oboro Muramasa. Uh, it's pretty great. The mood. So. Creators of Oboro Muramasa as well, George Kamitami. His name was on the logo back in the day. Known for mm -hmm. the art style that uh, is highly detailed, painterly, I would say, and also like a little bit of that uh, flash bounce. Ooh, okay, layers. The music kicks in. Okay, so they've been working on this game for a long time, and we've known nothing about it except for kids walking in classrooms talking to each other. It's kind of intense. Um, kids but, in classrooms. And then a picture of a sick-ass robot. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. And that's it. <laughs> that's all we got. Um, so uh, their previous games, like, all uh, stand out in, in, in artistic integrity and quality. Ooh, we can go different ways with this. I hear... The English dub is really fucking good, okay. so I'm 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 down to do that. I hear the English dub is really good. The uh, little I know is that they had to pull miracles for the English dub to happen because of the pandemic, and it completely messed with the workflow. Oh, really? But they they had to like record at home and then change filters, and they had to rework to to make sure that it matched the standards for okay. publishing. Okay. So yeah, I'm curious about the English dub as well. Okay. Yes, so I heard good things about the English. We're going to go with the English. All right. That's the choice. Um, I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Yes. Certainly. Okay. Without a doubt. Established. It's really happening. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. <laughs> So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Literally, that's the line. <laughs> like <laughs> in that movie. A long time ago. Mass kaiju destruction. Um. Ooh. Tactical map layout. Okay. Of course the clothes goes away, Reggie. Are we anime yet? Well, you can't pollute the inside of the robot. It's like Are we fucking anime yet? <laughs> T minus 30 seconds in. No title screen. In game yet. And the clothes are already off inside the robot. God damn. <laughs> I came here to fight, but I don't know how to control 
any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this? Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. Okay, we go nano machines. Feed of information from the sentinel sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. I'll take that. L C L seems kind of creepy. <laughs> Breathing it in. Yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Already in action. Okay. So, yeah, the fact that we're looking at a map like this from this far away is already the least vanillaware thing in the world. Because the side scrolling and then mm -hmm. a beat em up or action game based on that point of view is usually how it goes. So, yeah, this is already insanely far departure. Exploring different angles already. Yet ha somehow immensely uh, and immediately familiar with uh, the fact that you're teleporting naked into your robot. And based on her artwork, I'd say her ass is up in the air somehow. <laughs> I don't know if there's controls to the left and right of that ass, but I know that I... I there, yeah. There's a reason for that position. Check okay. boxes are being ticked as this we go. This is technology. Mm -hmm. All right. So to control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot and select with X. Once the menu is open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm-mounted machine cannons. Battle okay. start. Uh, so one of the first things I want to do, actually, is go to the options and turn auto advance off so that we can control when the dialogue moves forward. Ah, uh, okay. Because, God forbid, we talk over or miss something mm. that matters. Stop on unread. Ooh. Ooh, I know what that means. <laughs> dialogue is displayed. Fast forwarding automatically. I know comes. what that means. You're only going to put this option in the game when you have to revisit text you've already seen. God damn. All right, let's put that in there. And leave the rest going. That is clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's thank shout outs to Zero Escape, one of the GOAT features ever. Uh, when you go revisit content and then something slightly changes, fast forward everything you didn't you've already read, get to the new shit, you know? So. Uh, did that actually confirm? Let me just one hundred percent. Auto advance is off, yes, good. Whoa. Worker. Small crawling kaiju equipped with a low output beam gun, though it may be the weakest among the kaiju, is still 8 meters in length and a major threat to humans. Moves in packs, but has low durability. Area attacks are effective. And a skill excavator beam. Excavator beam. beam. We can do this. Right? Damn. Yo, that is a... That is a slick looking robot. Uh, leans more towards quote unquote real than super. Yeah. Uh, I like the what appears to be some sort of fist weapons. I like what's going on, and I, I enjoy the overall hunk of iron color scheme it's got going on. You see on. a robot, and you're happy. I don't try to contain. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of giving an initial assessment of what I'm looking at right now. Like, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's alright. I like this thing here. I'm, there. I'm, I'm, I'm making, I'm making judgments <laughs> on on some of these parts. I like what's happening on the thighs. I like what's happening on the knees. I think it's yeah. The uh, joints are cool. The joints are very cool. I appreciate that. Okay, action, move, repair, defend. Let's move. Wait, Wait. what are we supposed to do? Tutorial action, action only. Yes. Okay. Uh, Attack Kaiju within target area in front of the Sentinel with machine cannons. And there's our little mock-up video. Multiple rockets into target yeah. area. Nice shoulder rockets. Small railgun at the target area. Auto fires on Kaiju. Yo, that fucking vanillaware art, man. So Just using layers to simulate 3D right here. You it's know? Beautiful. 
gorgeous. So they there's the HP, there's the power, and WT, is that the wait time or something? Or hmm. Let's find out. It says 7 seconds, yeah. so... Possibly. Uh, yeah, range 40, 33. Kaijo attacks uh, front area. And we can pick one of these two targets. Okay. Slow down. Different combat situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament like the rocket launchers. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> So interesting, cause like, yeah, the way this is displayed, it's like we're in a war room discussing tactics and looking at, like, what the next play is going to be, mm. you know what I mean? Over, like, a nice big, like, uh, uh, 3D representation of, like, the battlefield. Uh, and I'm sure, again, it would be amazing to see the Vanillaware art represent the mechs in action, but yeah. the level of fucking money, which is not something they've had, and they found ways to stretch that dollar in each of their games, so I respect it. Action and destroy the enemy using multi rocket launchers. Adjust the range with the left stick to target as many enemies as possible. I gotta do this. Okay. Okay. Ah, and it costs EP. Ooh, we're not. Okay, we're not attacking on a grid per se. This is like free. Yeah, that's free control there. Free control of, of like, yeah. Within this circle, at the very least. Okay, so we we might be moving on a grid. I will see. Uh, we might be moving on a grid, but we can attack at least with this in a, in a free control range. Okay, so 150 times 8. Uh, 7 seconds again. And fires multiple rockets. Yeah, I think it's wait time. I imagine it's wait time. Shout out to the cough button. <laughs> Fuyu Soccer Coon. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. Yo. That's the last one. Naked as fuck. But they <laughs> <laughs> dangling in the wind. <laughs> Yo. No one talks about the the nano machines and how they cradle you and keep you nice and secure, mm -hmm. you know? If you get jolted in a big old machine, you're gonna hit oh, some man. angles. Are you ever go over a speed bump too fast on your bicycle, Reggie? <laughs> yes or yes? Holes or bumps. Yes yeah. or yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now magnify that two city-sized fucking robot. <laughs> Nano machines gotta be working overtime on the shock absorption, is all I'm saying. Don't quit. Let's get this future. Don't quit. Let's get this fucking future. Karabe, what are you doing here? I can't let this turn out like Sector 3. Izumi? No. There's no way his memory could have returned. Oh, what? I remember doing this in my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. My name is Juro Kurabe. Okay, we have some kind of mind, uh, mind amnesia. We mind have, we've got pr protagonist amnesia is very much present. Mm -hmm. We're we're full anime. Not even for a second are we leaning up off the gas. Um, I don't know how you are with remembering names right off the bat, but uh, I'm gonna kind of commit like last names to memory I think I can roll with it takes me a bit usually yeah all right. we'll see how this goes I hope there's a little like breakdown screen where we can 
uh, review later on. Select action, select heavy knuckles. Fuck yes. <laughs> and uh, use the <laughs> left stick to target while moving around. Okay. Sentinel Generation 2. Punch, punch. Crowd Kaiju attack two times with giant fists. Uh, attacks Kaiju within target yeah. area. Yeah. And he's got the rocket launchers as well. Okay. So, this is restrict. Okay, the restriction boxes. There. Oh, you can move. Interesting. Along okay. Because you can't go on the building, so you have to follow the streets. So twin stick. I'm rotating my angle on right stick. Left stick is actually moving. So your movement and attack are within the same action. Mm -hmm. Instead of separating it into move and then attack a space in front of you. Okay, big ass power off of that. Five seconds. Kaiju gets hit with both fists. Yo, two piece. Make it happen. No biscuit. That hit. I get it. What a pilot. That really is a Dizumi. But how? Did we do it? Seems like it. Hit him with the old one two. <laughs> Schlappercut. So, despite all the fire, the city is safe. Jurokurabe's story is now available. Oh, that's such a fucking dude. Flashbacks. Flashbacks of Odin's Fear staring at this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Sure. Judo Kurabe. 1985! Oh! I don't exist yet. Neither do I. This again? What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba kun. Mm -hmm. some controls. Okay. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Yep, voice acting's fine. Yeah, voice acting's good. Good job. Yep, you said it was in a rush? It was in a rush because of the pandemic. It was done in quarantine. So they were unable to like gather at a studio and have the banter happening. Wow. And they managed to make it happen. Wow. Yeah. Yo, if you're a voice actor these days, you have to have a home studio mm. to send your work off. Uh, Thought Cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it'll be added as a keyword. And Kuta Shiba has been added to the Thought Cloud. The triangle opens up the Thought Cloud to contemplate keywords. Okay. You can consider Kyuta. She becomes a bit of a class clown. But he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Then you can walk around walk around yeah. while thinking. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fights in the city? Fuck yeah. I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? <laughs> Copy paste Wooly's face I mean, on top of Jiro. I'm just like, what did he lend him? <laughs> Mid 80s, that could have been anything. Could have been anything. Fights in the city, you know? I mean, again, like. Who knows? Uh, Thought Cloud. The videotape has been added. So you can use these keywords on other characters as well when the option ah, is available. So that's point and click ask then when you uh, apply other concepts. Okay. Mm -hmm. When this option available, a triangle will appear above their head. And press X to use it with him. There you go. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. 
Yep, definite movie addiction. <laughs> You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Hold circle to move faster. Okay, you have a little sprint. Yeah, that would be me sleeping asleep again. Mm -hmm. before the class starts. All day. <laughs> School's out for the day. Like when they do attendance, stick your hand up. Yep. <laughs> Reggie, sit up straight. Uh, Although okay. I remember one time in grade, uh, I think it was in... It was in one of my er earliest memories of like, uh, like kindergarten. It was like, there was a girl in my class who was sleeping like that, but she was drooling. And she drooled all over her, her forearm. Yeah. And then when she when they called her name and she pulled her head up, there was a big <laughs> spit bubble wall <laughs> connecting her Sticking, face oh to her God. forearm. And I was I saw that, I was like, oh that was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, to this day <laughs> still have the memory. Don't get spit wall bubbled. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it. In that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. So he's gonna hang out? No, okay, don't bug her. Oh, you can go into the foreground. Oh. background. Yeah, Z axis, boys. What's up? We are 3D. Oh, maybe there's some action on the right. Shall we go home, Asami? Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's Nanji Kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but Yuri Chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miyoko. Did you need something? Oh, shit. Wow. Called out for standing too close? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... So I says to Mabel, I says... <laughs> Miyoko is lit with slight importance. I think she might be a person. Can I just keep talking to you? Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Oh. Really? Yep. Gonna rent it? I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? <laughs> he's Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. Okay, so exhausting dialogue. Absolutely gonna be a thing. Mm -hmm. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Yeah, don't do this. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? Can you tell me more about this dream? Or was it what the kind same of dream? dream? Mm hmm You? Me? Mm -hmm. Big robots? Yep. Doing the thing? Kaijus? Fists? <laughs> well, um Dude! Sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like. Oh, he's blushing. <laughs> Damn, even in oh, the dark, yeah? good spot. Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for you, Sakasan. Let's talk about this some other time. That is some pretty close talking, though. Yeah, he he moved in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, inside personal space. Y yeah. 
Yo, there's multiple dialogues happening at the same yeah, time. Yeah, things things are overlapping. Hey, 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 hey hi. Could you move? Sorry. He's a close talker. <laughs> he looks. Like he's just. He's close talk guy. You know. Wow. Wow. I love the view from the old classroom. God the damn, it's gorgeous. I can see the whole schoolyard. I like the light play as well. Everyone's training hard with their teams. I mean, again, like we're not fighting in 2D, so might as well make the walk and talk as gorgeous as possible. It's about time for me to that movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of the. Oh. Okay. All right, it doesn't necessarily link to anybody right now. Do that. you want to consider Yuri? I think because it's in green, maybe she we didn't seems check it. Sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Green is new. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But seriously, Amiguchi, we got to catch that guy in quick. You want to hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Oh. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Damn, like all three of them. <laughs> So you see on top on the top right of the screen, mm -hmm. I think this might indicate like the possible things that you can do in the room, maybe. Because there was there's a, a consideration to yeah. be done. Yeah, and then it changed when we cleared it out, and right? The red thing is the link, I think. Okay. So we've got a link with between uh, Shu and Kuda, and yeah, uh, and let's, can once we do this, Kuta, let's see if it right? uh, completely. Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. Oh. Kurabi-kun? Yeah. Uh, hey, Kurabi-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? Okay, some pronunciations are, do are doing, like, P5 style, and some of them are doing it normal. Like mm. we haven't got, like we we got one sort of satanica a little bit or you know but like for the most part they're doing it all right. Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Oh well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Yep, the icons are gone. Okay. She always seems to be sleeping, yeah. and I can't. Cool. Or we can observe elements in the room. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Keywords are displayed at the top right of the screen. So one keyword and one link. Sorry, I can't. Oh, no. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. <sighs> Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. All right, buddy. All right, Kuta. Oh, right, my bag. It'd be a hassle to come back here just for that. <laughs> Shiba Kun's right every once in a while. I should bring it with me. I was looking at the bag, but I was like, it was this one mine. Don't knock. No. Um, no. There huh. we go. Hold R1 to fast forward texts. Automatically pause on unread text. Hey, we got a log. Text log. Beautiful. 
and you can view the controls in the manual in the pause menu. Yes. That is good. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Yes. That is good. And how fast can you scroll through? Okay, it's pretty fast. It accelerates. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Top of the conversation. Yeah. Beautiful. Not bad. Beautiful. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Like, hmm. she's not here. We've seen more than enough Japanese high school interior sets. This is the most gorgeous one yet. Yep. This is the most beautiful inside of a high school I've seen yet. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm. That's a weird thing to say out of context. Anyway. <laughs> There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. All right, wild wow. shotgun Already. guess number one. Into the sky. Boom. School full of amnesiac pilots. I like it. Trained for the job. Yeah. All right. <laughs> shotgun yeah. blast into the air number one. Kabamzo. There Makes it sense. goes. Let's see where those bullets land. <laughs> Like 30 hours from now. <laughs> Ow! Oh! <laughs> A bird drops from the sky in 30 hours. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabiku! <laughs> Hello, nurse. Vanillaware. Okay, okay, no, wait, but hold on, though. <laughs> You're familiar with a dragon's crown at the least, I've right? I've seen it, and because enough to be like, what is this? Okay, because, like, the other games were had some exagger exaggerated proportions, but nothing on the level of that last one. And knowing that last game, this is tame as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is calmed down by a large margin. This is r within acceptable reason. They've toned it the fuck down, <laughs> they have. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Positive reinforcement. Karabe-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. She's even got the little Gwendolyn-type braid. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Karabe-kun. Anything. How was your current condition? Condition? I hadn't thought about it. That shit's legal, Reggie. My condition. But it was 1985. <laughs> you know. Any heart palpitations? Ooh. Dizziness? Headaches? I think I'm gonna faint. Close talker. Look at my Are face. You enough sleep at night? I have a fever. My Who face is red. Asking? The only prescription? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. Yeah. If you'll excuse me. Hold the circle button. <laughs> Sprint! <laughs> Sprint! <laughs> well, you're still here? Shibakun. What's up? Yeah, I thought you were gonna... She wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. 
Come on. <laughs> okay. Wow, that background. God damn. Huh. It's wonderful. What a it's, city. It's uh, yeah. Staggeringly gorgeous. Uh, I just want to see it kind of scale back and forth a little bit. And the sun disappearing. Yeah. Wow. Something wrong? Uh, you couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty-handed. What? That old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. <laughs> it's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Okay, so he's... Yeah, we're in there. <laughs> he's what in, but we're, we're super in. What a nerd! A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Oh, not bad. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Aracoon? The activation. I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Uh... You know this guy? Miracoon. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything alright? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Oh. Okay, but... Which Juro is he talking to, Your though? Forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. <gasps> too late. What the? I got the power. <gasps> <hands> lighting up <laughs> too. <laughs> I mean, it was either that or Last Dragon. <laughs> no. <gasps> What's going on? This is bad. Start. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. <laughs> Pretty calmly. He summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. Wait, manifestations of fiction? You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. What do you mean? What? You idiot, what? <laughs> I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. Wacky buddy playing dumb. Not actually dumb. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? <laughs> so don't fear us, jeer us, near us, if you ever get near us, don't jeer us, but the fear us, send my bees. <laughs> What's that stand for? Men in black. Uh, okay. Alright. Accidental touch. Summoning of robot, 1985. Fan of robots too. Mm -hmm. All right. Obtained eight and uh, mystery files. Event archives obtained four. Close results. That's the prologue. Eleven percent. All right. Oh, so now we can follow people, and there's an option menu that you can access still. Yeah. Make a little manual save right there. Okay, I can't make a selection yet. So we have to go with her? Alright. Story of Yuri. 
Kuyasa. So, uh, Kuro, you mentioned which yeah. one? Judo Kurabe, Jujuro. not Judo Izumi, who we met earlier. And he was like, my name is not Izumi, it's Kurabe, or... Okay, keep that notebook out. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Make notes, baby. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go, research. Yeah. So he went to the nurse office, find his files, and he was I like, I'm not Izumi. I am drugged. I'm losing beauty sleep. God damn, if your guess is right. Almost there. Oh. Ow. Uh... Pretty much. Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Uh, sorry. Cool, senpai. <sighs> Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly. An uncanny resemblance. Huh? Did she drop this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. Oh, look at the kitty on top of the wall on the left. I was, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't go towards a bird. <laughs> yeah, it was a tiny bird. But real recognize real. Real niggas don't speak. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> especially when it comes to birds. The That's fuck right. You... <laughs> uh, and good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You are sound asleep. Class is over. The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah. Uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Okay, last names are going to be very important. So we need full name context okay. to be made. Because if they're switching it up on you with future alternate versions being different last names, yeah. the puzzle is going to get multi-layered. So... Thinking of this. Notes on the on the full <laughs> names, not just first or last. Hey, okay. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life, and this is how I make a first impression. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, like, uh. Iori is used for boys and girls, it is, right? Like, I'm, yeah, I guess I'm, so. Think of, yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, there's a couple of games where it goes both ways. Mm. Uh, what do we got? Iwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Okay. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. Okay. Like Usagi with rabbit ears, but not the same. Mm. Mentally, pigtails, rabbit ears flopping. I don't know. I'll mentally do that. All right. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Okay. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan? Yeah? You and Goto, Senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? <laughs> that guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. 
I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh, don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Damn, she's stomping on everybody. Yep. Stomping no on all. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> no dick unstomped. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyone else? Before we move things forward. You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just <laughs> I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night... I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. Hype? This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Remember when um, the best friend was like... I'll need you to forget that. Yeah, when, uh... Do you remember the Kita? name of the protocol he said? Did you write that down or no? No, I didn't. Okay, that's the okay. protocol. All right, don't worry. It's all right. Uh, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm almost just like, can we just, just write down every noun? <laughs> every, 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 like, proper name. Okay, I'll try to keep an eye out for that. Sleeping on the desk. <laughs> oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute, so. Geez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. You ever bumped into anybody running around a corner? Not like in anime. <laughs> not, not, not prototypically. <laughs> Mystery files contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology.